Welcome back to another Google AdMob Developer Tutorial. My name is Justin Malandrucolo, and today I'm going to show you how to integrate the User Messaging Platform SDK, or UMP SDK, into your app on iOS. The UMP SDK provides a collection of APIs that you can use to gather consent from your users, which helps you comply with privacy laws and regulations. Let's take a look at the AdMob user interface and see the privacy message I have configured, which the UMP SDK presents, giving your users the ability to consent to how their data is used. A complete integration of the UMP SDK includes the following key steps. I'll walk you through each step with the demo Xcode project using CocoaPods. First, we'll import the SDK, then request for consent information load and present a privacy message, request ads, I'll show you how to test your integration, then we'll implement a privacy options button, and lastly, I'll talk about how to optimize your integration. So let's jump into a demo. Step one, import the SDK. So let's start in the pod file, where we are going to explicitly add the latest version of the dependency to our project. Run pod install, and open up your project's XC workspace. Jumping into Xcode, import the user messaging platform framework into your project. Now we can request for the most recent consent information. It's important to do this on every app launch. In view did load, type UMP consent information dot shared instance dot request consent info update. The closure returns an error to help with proper debugging. I'm also adding weak self here for the sake of defensive coding. That's all you need to do to fetch the most up-to-date consent information. Next step is to load and present a consent form. Inside the closure, type UMP consent form dot load and present if required. This method will do one of two things. If consent is required for the user, the SDK loads and presents a consent form. The closure returns when the form is dismissed. Or, if consent is not required, the closure returns immediately. At this point, you now have enough information to initialize the Google Mobile Ads SDK and start loading ads. Query UMP consent information Dot shared instance dot can request ads as a layer of verification before making your request. If it returns true, you're good to go. I'm recording this in New York, so I won't see a GDPR consent form, but what if I want to see how my app behaves for users in privacy regulated regions such as Europe? This is possible with just a few lines of code. Create a UMP request parameters object and configure your debug settings to include a geography. Type debug settings dot geography equals dot EEA. Set the debug settings to your request parameter. Don't forget to pass in the request parameters object. Note that debug settings only work on enabled test devices. Simulators are considered test devices by default. Now let's run our app. And there we have a consent form. If you are using a real device, run the app and check the logs for test device identifiers. All one word. The log will include an ID that you can extract and include in your debug settings. Now that we know how to show a consent form on app launch, we now have to let users modify their consent choices in your app at any time. This is commonly done by adding a button in your app's settings page. Check UMP consent information dot shared instance dot privacy options requirement status once load and present if required completes to determine if you need to show your button or not. If the status is required, the button should be enabled. When a user taps on your button, present the form using UMP consent form dot present privacy options form. The closure returns when the form is dismissed or if an error occurs. Let's run our app again. 
and our privacy settings button is now wired up. Lastly, let's talk about optimization for loading ads. Your app will have already gathered consent from returning users, so waiting for request consent info updates callback can delay your ad impression. You can optimize this by attempting to request ads just after calling request consent info update outside of the closure. Checking the Can Request Ads API in two places ensures an optimal ads experience for new users and returning users. Because we're calling the same code in two places, I'm creating a thread safe helper function for readability. As part of this optimization, make sure to add a Boolean flag to only initialize the SDK and load ads once during the consent gathering process. And there you have it. To learn more, check out the resources in the description below. We have developer samples that go through a proper integration and the developer form where you can go and ask technical questions. Today, we walk through how to gather consent in your mobile application by fetching consent information and loading a privacy message. We then use that information to help us load appropriate ads and enable a privacy settings button. We hope the video was helpful for you. Feel free to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And remember to subscribe to AbMob for more technical content.